everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm gonna share with you how I monthly meal plan and how I create a grocery list for an entire month's worth of meals. I'm really trying to get back into the monthly meal planning and grocery shopping. I feel like it's really efficient and it helps me to um, kind of knock it all out at once. Uh, hopefully to save some money along the way. So I'm going to show you how I come up with meals, how I break down my grocery list and basically organize it. And I'm also gonna show you how I put everything on a calendar. I just got a, um, it's a dry erase board, like monthly calendar that I'm gonna use for meal planning. I got it on Amazon for like 11 bucks and I'll leave the link down below in case you wanna get it. So far I really like it and I think it's gonna be really helpful to us. So um, let me just go ahead and get started and I'll show you basically my process. So the first thing that I do is I come up with a running list of meals that I know we're gonna eat. You know, they're kind of go-to meals for us, uh, typical things like spaghetti, tacos, grilled chicken, you know, whatever it is. Um, for January, for example, there are 31 days in January, so I know that I have to come up with 31 meals. So basically, like I said, all I do is I just come up with 31 meals, just again, in no particular order. They're not on, you know, the the first thing I have on here, for example, is breakfast tacos, which we're not gonna have on the first, but again, it's just, I know at some point in January, we'll probably have, you know, breakfast tacos for dinner. We'll have meatloaf at some point, pizza with salad, things like that. The goal is, again, to have 31 different lines, which represent uh, every single day in January. So once I have completed that, then I know that you know, I basically have my meals for the month and then I'll worry later about actually organizing them on the calendar. Um, but you know, like for this list, for example, Matt and I were brainstorming, kind of like, okay, what do you want to have this month? What do you want to try? Um, again, like I have pizza with salad twice because I know that we'll probably within, you know, a 31 day period have pizza with salad at least twice. So I just put it down twice. So now I'm going to put everything that I have on my phone on a piece of paper just uh, for a visual for you guys so you can see it a little bit better, obviously, than just showing you my uh, phone screen the entire time. So I'm just going to rewrite the entire uh, list of meals on this sheet of paper and then I'm going to show you how I uh, make a grocery list from that. So I have 31 total. And again, I just got this from, you know, writing down things that I know we're gonna eat, like spaghetti with salad, pizza with salad, meatloaf, just kind of standard stuff. Also, you know, of course, I get inspiration off of Pinterest, uh, YouTube, Instagram. If I see something that I like, uh, for example, this fire chicken noodles, it's something I saw on Instagram, one of those little tasty buzz um, Instagram pages. So I wrote that down because I wanna try it this month. And again, I just, Basically, you know, if you want to sit that, you know, sit down with a sheet of paper and write down like one through 31, the goal is just to have a meal on every single day, obviously, even if it's just, you know, like eat out, you know, for example, normally we eat out, you know, three or four times a month. So I would, you know, when I would start my list, I would just write eat out, eat out, eat out, eat out, because I know at some point throughout the month, we're going to eat out at least four times. So I've got those days filled in. I have my list of meals. Uh, now it's time to come up with the grocery uh, list. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the very first meal on my list that I have over here. And the very first one I have is breakfast tacos. So all I do is I just think about the things that I need for breakfast tacos. So flour tortillas, eggs, um, some cheese, and some kind of protein like some sausage or bacon or something like that. Um, and I will create a list. So like for example over here, 
starting with this list, this is kind of like the dry good stuff that you just get from the aisles, like in the middle of the grocery store. And then over here on the side, I'll probably put meat and then produce down here, uh, maybe a frozen category down here. And I'll just start making a list. Okay, so, so far on my list, uh, I have flour tortillas, eggs, cheese, and breakfast sausage. This is for obviously the breakfast tacos. I know that I don't need to buy any more flour tortillas because uh, we just recently bought a huge package from um, Costco. So um, I know I don't need to buy any, but I write it down just in case um, on my list because after I create my entire list, I'm gonna go through my pantry and freezer and refrigerator and kind of do an inventory of what we have on hand. So whenever I'm looking in the refrigerator, I'll see the huge thing of flour tortillas and I'll go, oh, we don't have to buy that, so we're good. And the next thing on my list of meals is meatloaf. So I know with meatloaf, I need uh, ground beef, I need some breadcrumbs, uh, eggs, and then some carrots, celery, onions, things like that. So um, since I need meat, I'm just gonna go ahead and create a category over here for meat. I'm gonna put ground beef. Okay, and then for produce, which I'll make a new list down here for produce. I know I need onions, carrots, and celery. Okay, and um, then again, the for the meatloaf, I know I use eggs, but I already have that on my list. Um, I need some breadcrumbs, which I'll write that down. And I'm pretty sure I already have enough breadcrumbs on hand um, to make the dish, but again, I'm just gonna write it down just in case, and then I'll do an inventory of my pantry later on. So that's basically all I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go down my list of uh, my meals, and then I'm just going to create a grocery list from there. Okay, so here is my grocery list all complete. Over here I have the meats that I need to get, which are ground beef, grilled chicken, ground turkey, drumsticks, bacon. Down here is produce, um, so I have, you know, just onions, carrots, celery, lettuce, cilantro, lime, stuff for pico de gallo, baked potatoes, apples, things like that. Uh, sometimes you'll see on my list that I have, like for example, right here where it says times three. I'll zoom in for you. So it says times three, that just means um, I should probably get, you know, three onions. Uh, I do the same over here, like for taco seasoning, I'll just put times two, like go ahead and grab two of those bags. Same with the tomato sauce, diced tomatoes, things like that. Now after I go through my pantry and I do an inventory, um, like I said, I will just go through my list and cross off things that I don't need to buy. Like for example, I know I don't need to buy barbecue sauce, I just saw that. Um, in there. I don't need to buy sloppy joe sauce because again, I know we have that. Um, this is just off the top of my mind. I know we have fettuccine sauce and the noodles, so I don't have to buy that. So again, that's what I would do as I'm going through the pantry. And then also I would go through this list and determine uh, what I need to buy at Walmart and what I need to buy at Costco. Uh, so usually with the meat, I know that I'll get that at Costco. So I'll just put a little C, so like ground beef, I'm gonna get that at Costco. Uh, the grilled chicken, Costco. Ground turkey, Costco. Drumsticks, probably Walmart, because I don't need to get a ton of those. So I'll just put a W next to that. Bacon, Walmart, because again, I just don't need a whole bunch of that. And then the produce, all the produce, uh, well not all of it, uh, like the lettuce, I'll get at Costco. And then, let's see, everything else I'll get at uh, Walmart probably. All these items I'll get at Walmart. Oh, actually chicken tenders, sorry. I get those at Costco. So I get a big bag of those. And most of this stuff over here I get at Walmart, but again, I'll just have to go through it later on. And then back here, I just have um, some other things. Um, the diapers I'll get at Costco and the contact solution and the light bulbs I will get from Walmart. So again, that's just kind of my system as I go through my list, um, go through my pantry, freezer, and um, my uh, refrigerator, just to determine what I have before I actually go back to, out to the store you know, and buy it again. So this is basically my grocery list. This is just kind of a rough draft, again, just to kind of give you guys an idea of how I do it. And now I'm going to take my meals and I'm gonna show you how I organize them on my calendar. Okay, so once again, this is my new uh, calendar that I got off Amazon and I will leave a link to it down below in case you want to get the same thing. Honestly, it's only 11 or $12 and so far I really like it. I think this is gonna be really helpful to us. Um, and so I went ahead and I filled in 
the entire month. So again, January has 31 days. I have 31 meals over here. And all I'm gonna do is I'm going to, you'll see me like write and erase and move stuff around a little bit. Um, but I'm basically just going to go through the list and try to find a home for it. Um, and I also try to put certain meals together that make sense. Um, let's see, like for example, uh, like salads, for example, um, I try to make uh, salads within the first, you know, week or two just because, you know, salad stuff's not going to last that long. You can't freeze lettuce, so I can't really prolong the life of the lettuce. So I'll probably put like, you know, pizza and salad on the first and then pizza and salad again, maybe, you know, the following Monday or something like that. Um, another thing is, let's see, something like buffalo chicken wraps. I know that there's lettuce. Oh, sorry. Buffalo chicken wraps. I know that there's lettuce in uh, the buffalo chicken wrap. So again, I, I'm not gonna put buffalo chicken wraps on the very you know end of the month just because I know that that lettuce is not gonna last as long unless I buy it again. But at Costco, I buy the big um, packages of lettuce. So I'd like to get as much lettuce as I can out of that before having to buy you know another package. So it's just stuff like that. You try to have to kind of look at the whole month and see how it's gonna work. Um, let's see, a lot of stuff I can keep in the freezer, like a lot of the stuff with meat, obviously. Um, it's just mainly the stuff with the fresh produce, salads, uh, like burger wraps, uh, burrito bowls, just because there's a uh, pico de gallo that I make with that. So again, I'll probably put the burrito bowls in the first week because I want that produce to be as fresh as possible. Um, but you can freeze a lot of stuff, but most stuff you can't freeze, which is like sour cream, lettuce, you know, milk, things like that. I just try to um, put that towards the beginning of the month so that I'm not being wasteful. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start messing around with this. I'm gonna speed this up, but you'll get the uh, general idea of what I'm doing. month so of course things will change and probably move around just a little bit but I'm gonna try to really stick to kind of like what's on the meal plan is what we're gonna eat and try to be more disciplined about that and I try to arrange things in a way that made sense for us like for example on Sunday we're gonna have lemon turkey over rice which is something I've made before and it makes um, a lot of leftovers and so since that's a Sunday Matt can take it for lunch uh, the next day so, you know what I mean so things like that so he can take leftovers the next day um, chili will make quite a bit so we can freeze that and then have some for the next month um, let's see I try not to put too much like chicken like you don't want chicken three days in a row you want to have you know chicken with some beef and the chicken again some beef things like that so um, that should be pretty good for the month of January so once again that's how I meal plan for an entire month as well as uh, create a grocery list and put everything on a calendar as you can see here. Uh, hopefully I answered your questions. If you have some more, please leave them in a comment down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.